what the heck was the name of that? Under input. All right, so now we access the element right here. And what we want to do is we want to set the inner HTML equal to, and the inner HTML is basically um, the HTML in between the div. So it, it basically, the inner HTML is the stuff that shows on the web page. So we can either set this to, you know, the message itself, but what I want to do is I actually want to color this blue. So let me go ahead and word wrap this. Span, and this is a CSS. If you don't know CSS, and just go ahead and copy me. Style equals color blue. And uh, I word wrap this, so this is actually all on one line. I just uh, you know moved it down so it would be easier to see for you guys in the tutorial. So basically, we want to create the message and now the message is going to be colored blue once I end the span tag right like that alright so that's basically what we're doing and right actually I'm just gonna go ahead and code the rest of this and then I'm gonna talk you guys through it. set timeout and if else now remember this is what's supposed to happen this is what happens when you successfully communicate else if something went wrong then just go ahead and alert you know um just something stupid like something went wrong how clever is that alright so now I'm done our program is complete so one more time remember that this function is basically what's going to be called whenever we get a request or excuse me whenever we get a response back from the server the first thing that we do is check for errors and hopefully we don't have any of those if we do then we're just going to go ahead and you know let the user know that we had an error and after that we're pretty much grabbing and dissecting the XML document that was generated by our PHP file and we pretty much take the message that was in between the response tags and we put it in between span just to color it blue and we set the document on our HTML file which was this right here we set the inner HTML which is basically the part that shows to the user we set it equal to that blue colored message now after this we just wanna you know a little pause before we do it again because we don't want it to communicate with our server like bam 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 like every single millisecond or else you know it would be a waste of server space or be very taxing on our server so what we do is we wait a second so basically whenever we're running this program it's not gonna check for everything every millisecond what it's gonna do is it's gonna wait a second check your server wait a second communicate with your server wait a second communicate with your server and that is kind of the better way to do things alright so now this is complete and in the next tutorial we're gonna be running through it and I'm gonna be talking through it one last time very briefly just now that we understand how everything works so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video